Good evening, Victory Tribe. Welcome to Victory Now. This is Jeannie Briley. My name is Michelle Repke. We are so glad you're here tonight. Yes, we are. We're <laughs> glad to be here, too. Yes, We yes. are here, present, active, charged. Ready, ready to go. Ready to deliver you a word, a fresh word from the Lord. Yes. Tonight, we are going to talk, and we're going to... We're going to talk about keeping it simple, yeah. keeping your relationship with God and with Jesus simple. Don't let the world, how not to let the world or the things that come against you um, make it complicated because mm -hmm. Jesus loves us and there is nothing simpler than the love of Christ. Yeah. And he has put that in us when we accepted him as our Lord and Savior. He has allowed us, he has equipped us with all the things that we need for this earth walk. And when we do that, as we go through the earth and walking around to people and being an example of Jesus, we need to keep it simple also. Yes. We cannot complicate it. Yes. Because then you feel like you get stuck. Yeah. You ever feel like you get stuck mm -hmm. in your relationship with God? You ever feel like no matter what you try, mm -hmm. it just doesn't happen the way you think it, the way yeah. you're reading about it? Yeah. 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 I've been there a time or two. Yeah. How many it's times happened. How many times you ever read in the scriptures where Jesus uh, healed somebody? Yep. And it's like you try and you try and you try and you think, okay, what do I got to do? What do I got to do? I go to <laughs> another prayer meeting. I go to another, I read another book on healing and how to have healing manifested and all that. And it's not that. It's not about your works. It's right. about opening up the door, which reveals it to you, to you in your spirit that Christ lives in you. The yeah. healing anointing dwells within you. And all you have to do is open up that door yeah. and let it out. We've been taught, though, a lot of times, though, like it's about our performance. Mm -hmm. How good can I be for God to get God to do something for me? Yes. You know, and so we've heard that a time or two in our life, and I think that's where we get into that place mm -hmm. where maybe you have a bad day and you're kind of like, man, I really messed up today. God's not going to bless me today. Mm -hmm. Or I didn't get enough ties, so, you know, the blessing's not going to come as greatly as mm -hmm. it would if I would have just gave five more dollars, you know, right, and that right. mentality a lot of times will keep us stuck and we'll hit the wall every time. Mm -hmm. And well, just coming, just coming up here before we turned this on, I was telling Michelle, I don't feel ready. I feel nervous. I feel, <laughs> but what it is because my life today was crazy, busy, full of love, full of children, full of things to do. I didn't have a chance to sit down and to prepare and to think and all that. But what I realized coming up here by just praying in the spirit over what God wants, wants us to say to you guys open my heart, just to open my heart and tell you what's inside that God wants you to hear. Yeah. It doesn't matter. It, you yeah. know, I mean, obviously, yes, we want to prepare and we want to be able right. to know what we're talking about. Yeah. You don't want to come up here and look goofy. So <laughs> <laughs> you do that, but you just let Jesus talk yes. through you. That's because the key. he lives where? He lives in our heart. He lives in us. So he's always in us. He's ready. Yes. He's ready all the time. Well, let's start out with some scripture. How about that? Oh, you cannot ever go we wrong. We got with three pages of scripture. So <laughs> get your notepads out. That's usually what I say when I get on here. You know what? Get your pen and paper out. Write these scriptures down because not just hearing them one time is not going to do. Right. We've learned that, you know what? This is something that we have to go over and over and over and over again. We have to keep it fresh. Yes. We have to keep it fresh here. I had to keep it fresh here. You know, and because there's so many things that come at us yes. that want to try to keep us stuck. Yes. And this, what we're about to read to you, you know, is ways that we found that get us unstuck. Right. And keep us flowing in our true identity. Yes. In the real, the real identity that Christ has placed in us, on yes. us. Yes. So, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 56, 57 do you want it out of yours or mine? You can go ahead. Okay. This says, Now sin is the sting of death, and sin exercises its power upon the soul through the abuse of the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory, making us conquerors through our Lord Jesus Christ. So some of the things that we are going to go over with you maybe these next few times, I'm not sure, um, is about how to disconnect from your old man mm -hmm. and stay true to the real you of who you are now that you're born again. And so this scripture, when we were talking about this, you know, um, 
It says, through the abuse of the law. The law was put in motion so that we could realize that we could never do enough to get God's grace. Right. And his mercy and his love and his kindness and his goodness. The law was set in motion to show us that we needed a savior. Amen. And so now Jesus has come, died on the cross, shed his blood. He went to hell. He arose. He ascended. He sits on the right hand of the father. And we've been set free from the law. We've been set free from performance. So nothing that we could ever do, whether we read our Bible 20 hours a day, five minutes a day, you know what? Reading our Bible is an amazing thing, but it's not, it's not that work. It's not that right. work. You don't do it for a work. You do it to connect. grow in fellowship, yeah. to connect. It's yes. just like when, when you're spirit filled and you're born again and you read your word, it's just like talking to each other yeah. and when, yeah. because God, the word of God is his letter to you yeah. that he's going to talk to you that yes. way. That's it's yeah. just, it's amazing that yeah. that that strengthens you and it encourages you. And when the things of the world come against you or when you feel like you've not done enough, if you can just find one scripture just one scripture for the day. Yeah. And it's like we, we've we been talking, put them everywhere. Yeah. Put them all over your house. Put them <laughs> in your car. Put, um, we laughed because yeah. get them, you know, temporary tattoos from Amazon and put them on your arm because it'll tell you. You can look at it every single day. Every single day I'm knowing I am a child of God. That's mm-hmm. what First John 3, 1 says. And mm-hmm. I can go to that scripture when I'm feeling discouraged and I can look yes. it up. And when this wears off, I'm going to put another one on there. I've decided it's not good. And We're she, trying to talk her into getting a real one. No, we're, I don't want a real one. I'm just going to keep up with my with my temporaries here. Mine says greater, greater, greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. I have the victory living on the inside of me, no matter what tries to come against me. And every time I look at that, I, it's, you know what, I know that he lives in me. But wow, when I look down at that and I see greater, I'm reminded of greater is he. I, and maybe we're not like telling you to go get a tattoo no, or anything like that. We would never tell you to do that. But we're just saying, place the word in wherever you eyes. are. Where I was telling her is in my bathroom, I have scripture on my mirror. I have scriptures on my door. I have a vision board on my closet door. Mm-hmm. You know what? I have scriptures in my car and I have that before my eyes so I could see that. So it keeps my mind fresh on my true identity. It helps me stay connected easier mm-hmm. and quicker to the father and yes. to relate to I'm a daughter. Mm-hmm. I'm a daughter of God. Because distractions and condemnation are always going to come your way to try to get you out of the position of authority Mm -hmm. that God has Mm -hmm. put you in. And she had an amazing revelation about the condemnation last night. It is, Mm -hmm. what was the word you used? It's like a a fake chain. It's, It's an illusion. Yeah. When condemnation, you know, when the condemnation comes and it's, and you're thinking, oh, I'm not good enough. I should have done that. I'm not you know, I'm too bad. I'm this, I'm that, I'm the other. <laughs> it's fake. It's, it's a fake lie. It's illusion. It's a lie. And you need to have the truth before your eyes so that you can say, no, that is not who I am. Yeah. I am born again. Yeah. I have Christ inside of me. I am spirit filled. I am full of authority and power and might and dominion. And yeah. I curse you. You <laughs> cannot do that. You cannot say that to me. And you put up your big barbed bar fence. Yes. Amen. <laughs> what I was thinking, the scripture that kept coming to me when you were saying that is the Genesis one twenty six, where God said, Jesus and the Holy Spirit said, Let's create man Mm -hmm. in our image and our likeness. Mm -hmm. You know what? And then he gave us dominion over the earth. Mm -hmm. And he put us here for a reason. Mm -hmm. He put us here as sons and daughters. And you know what? Adam reigned in that for a while. And it wasn't until he believed that lie, but yeah, at one point in his life, he was, he knew who he was. The right. real, the real Adam was living. He was reigning and ruling, doing exactly what God the Father told him to do yes. until he became disconnected from the Spirit of God. Mm-hmm. And then sin conscience came in, and then yeah. that's where those lies and deceptions started speaking to him and calling him out of his true identity. 
mm-hmm. in, into that person that he was not supposed to be. <laughs> well, you mentioned the word dominion. God gave mm-hmm. Adam and he, or God gave Adam dominion. Mm-hmm. And one of the things I read, and it's in here, it's in the notes here somewhere, is that dominion is not what we have. It's who we are. Oof. So if you, we can wrap our, our minds Ooh, around man. that to get it to settle in our spirit and have that come out mm. through our mouth, lining up with the word of God, realizing that we have domi- we are dominion yeah. on the earth. That's what God created us to be. He created mm. us. In his image, he was dominion, and now we are. Oh, listen, Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. Yes. That's why Jesus came, was to destroy the works of the devil. And now when you get a hold, when we get a hold of our true identity, we do the same things that Jesus did. We've been given dominion. We've become dominion on this earth for that simple reason, to destroy the works of Satan. What Mm -hmm. are the works of Satan? You know, anything that's not the will of God, sickness. To kill, steal, and destroy. Yes, to kill, Mm -hmm. steal, and destroy. And so we have when we when we align ourselves up with the word of God and who we are, we have that power on the inside of us mm-hmm. to be able to say no in the name of Jesus because we have that the name, right. the name above every name. Mm-hmm. We have that name living on the inside of us. Mm. So if you're walking in that dominion and authority and truth, You can do the very things that Jesus Christ did himself. Why? Because he lives on the inside of you. Mm -hmm. And that's who you are. Oh, look at Mm -hmm. Jesus. I remember when I first got saved and I was so confused. Like I didn't know how to be a Christian. I didn't know what to do. And the Lord said, just go look at the your greatest example. Who would be your greatest example? And I'm like, Jesus. He said, mm-hmm. just go read Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm-hmm. Start seeing what Jesus did and then line up with it. Line up. Line yes, up with yes. it. And when we line up with it and when we see that we are lined up, you know, we're going to realize one thing I, I realized is that God has fully equipped us mm-hmm. through, <laughs> through, um, Accepting Jesus and through the baptism of the Holy Spirit, we are fully equipped. We have everything that we need mm. to carry out the call of God yep. on our lives. Yes, we do. And to, to fulfill what He wants us to it's do. All, it's too good to be true. <laughs> That's the gospel. <laughs> it's too good to be true. Yes. Well, it's almost too good to be true. Yeah. How's they say? Is that how they say it? Too good to no, be true? they say it's too good to be yes, true. It and is. It, and it's if, amazing. If you think it's too good to be true, then you... You're getting a hold of it. You're getting it yes. because it's it's unexplainable sometimes. All right, well, we, we are um, pushing our time. Mm-hmm. It's it's crazy how it starts and we're over with already. So anyways, we love you guys. And you know what? We'll be back another time. And yep. so we just bless you. We bless your life. You know what? Stay connected to the true yes. you yes. in your Christ. true identity. Yes. Have a be good blessed. evening. Be blessed.